Kitchen Stender. It is 2-22-21. Monday after the bell. Hope everyone had a wonderful trading day. We sure did. We rolled out our puts. We are ready for a little bit more downside and we will show you why in this video and then we'll go over some of the trade ideas that we had this morning uh, we weren't actually um, uh, adding on to too many of these because we we knew we were looking for a pullback so we don't want to pull back into into um, buy too many names uh, we would kind of want to scale in as the pullback happens but before we go on our information please hit the subscribe button the notification so you can get these videos every morning every evening and even on the weekend and hit the like button so we can get these algorithms going and share the wealth spread the wealth spread the word and uh let's jump into it so we're going to start off with the spx this is the options expected move if you're not familiar with it i will put i will tag the link up above or at the end of the video this is our playing field for the week i do believe we're going to hit the bottom edge of this expected move if not further to test the 50 um ma so macd told you there was resistance here we're curling over making a bear cross um, we still are an uptrend, so overall we're bullish in the long run, but near term, we need to be cautious. So let's put some lines on the screen. Trend is our friend. Just to show you, we are in a wave one, two, and th this is a full wave five, just so you know. Wave one, impulsive, coming back down to wave two, just gaining momentum to the downside. Look at that candle. We're pushing off, tried to work our way into the 8MA and now pushing back down. Uh, just highlighted the circle here. We have bearish divergence. Let's move on to the 65 minute chart and then we can get down to nitty gritty here and see what was happening. Oh yeah, let's go over to the ES on this. Oh yeah. All right, let's put the right board up. Now, what happened today? This is the end of wave one, like we saw in the daily, and we're working on wave two, right? Okay, so we started off with a A and a B, okay? So we have A, B, C to start off that first leg of a correction, which is an A. We have the corrective wave up for a B, and we're looking for a five wave correction to the downside. Now, this morning, we saw that we were just about to get five waves in here you know difficult to read but we did we got five waves and now we're um we're indicating that either the correction is over that is the bullish scenario so this would be considered as of right now one down to two and then to the upside i'm not in that camp i feel like this is just the wave one of five to the downside so one two and then down lower so we can hit that 61 eight retracement is our goal we have the expected move we have a lot of levels to go through so we're going to take profits as we go um but you know we're going to suck in some bulls here by uh today was relentless to the upside and then right at the end pulled back now, this could be a corrective move um, for this wave two. An A down to B, and that B should almost be over, and C to the upside. And then we start our third wave. Um, it is possible. This was a 50% retracement to the top. So it is possible that this wave is over at wave two. Uh, but we'll have to find out overnight. And after this wave two, down to three so that's a lot more bear scenario um whatever camp you're in just uh make sure you have a little put protection um i do have calls i've call uh in out spreads on so i have a lot of time you know 25 to 30 days out on these and uh we're, we're working on some puts uh that we we took some profits today on on the gap down and rolled out some uh puts to wednesday uh expiration and we're going to keep doing that until we get our correction or that we see that our downtrend is over. And this is our downtrend line, you guys. This is a the high, a lower high, 
and you know we're making a lower high right now or even if this is an abc this is going to be a lower high as well you know lower high lower low lower high lower low that's just the definition of a downtrend that's market structure that's trading 101 if you're not familiar with market structure get to know it all right the macd may be crossing back over we'll see what happens overnight rsi can't get over the 50 that's uh we're in bearish territory as long as it's it's hanging around that 50 and below bearish territory there is no bullish divergence at this point the first one was burnt through burned through <laughs> and we're making lower lows on that uh, macd okay so we have no reason to be super bullish in the micro term all right let's check out some of these names really fast that we mentioned this morning to show what's happening here all right cvx breaking out this is a thing of beauty i love it if we can get some follow through on that um that's one of our ira plays uh, near term i like it as well boeing this is going to be the theme for this evening let it come back we had our wave one we're in a wave two just like the market is so let this come back you saw it make a move and now it needs to come back maybe to the 61.8 palancer same thing it broke out uh, I'm sorry, it bounced for some sort of maybe wave one, but let it come back, you know, and so it can go higher. Once you uh, once you make it a reversal, you don't just go straight up. You have to turn the momentum around. All right, gold is working really well for us now. We got in a little early. We are not break even yet, but uh, great move today. Hopefully some follow through. We're, eight, we're uh, over the eight of May. We have bullish divergence. Looking to make that MACD cross. Laser, laser hit our stop. We are out of it. We're looking to um, jump back in. See what it does at the support here. Hoo ya, hoo ya. We jumped in this one today. Didn't quite hit the twenty, but we used it in out spread, so we have time. We have time on our side. So we're looking for the reversal there to move so much higher on Huya. All right. United States Steel came back for its uh, wave four and starting wave five. This may be a larger wave one. And so let it come back. Let this come back so we can move higher. That's the theme. General Dynamics breaking out from its triangle long term, looking bullish. And I mean, all the oil stocks are the same. They're just, they're all just rocking. This one's trying to, uh, ConocoPhillips is trying to break out to the upside as we speak. And we we mentioned Apple because we we're at some sort of, res um, let's see, we we're at uh, support here. We're still right on it. But let that come back to the 618 at least. Tech is looking awful right now. The histogram on the downside with the MACD, the momentum is gaining. We don't want to jump in front of that. Get out of Apple. Or, or uh, if you're in it for the long run then uh, and, and you think it's going up, then buy more. <laughs> buy, buy the dip. All right. So thanks for joining us. That's all we're going to do today. Hit that like button so we can spread the word, spread the wealth, get those algorithms working for us. And we will see you tomorrow morning. Thank you.